Burma coup resistance notes October 11, 2022. Four PDFs attacked a column of about 100 junta troops and Paiu saw Hiti terrorist auxiliaries today in Tants Township of Zagaing region. In three consecutive attacks today using locally made mortars and rifle fire, the PDFs were able to cause 20 fatalities and at least 20 injuries. The Paiu saw Hiti are not trained to fight armed enemies, only to attack civilian targets. Ethnic regions. More is known now about yesterday's capture of the Leitia border camp by the Arakan army. Three junta troops were captured alive, one Arakan soldier was killed. The battle lasted only an hour after the AA opened fire with mortars from all sides. Photos show a large quantity of seized mortars, grenades, ammunition, a mortar launcher, communications equipment, and other gear. Junta army desertions. A junta police officer defected to the Chin Defense Forces in Hakka, capital of Chin State, with two rifles and ammunition, it was announced yesterday. He was given the 10 million Kiart bonus for defectors there, 2,500 United States dollars. People's Defense Forces PDFs. In Zagaring region, 11 PDFs in Salingi Township banded together to carry out three attacks last night, targeting the Junta police station in Salingi Town, an army post at a military hospital, and a Junta admin office. The PDFs used mortars, grenades, and gunfire. It says there were Junta casualties but no figures are available. Today the Salingi PDF announced that it has taken control of the roads in the township. Two days ago October 9 the PDF coalition fired locally made mortars and small arms at a junta position in Kinu Township, killing 13 troops. A new report about an October 8 PDF roadside bombing in Schwebo Township says a 12-wheel truck full of troops was blown up, killing seven of them and wounding others. On the same day, a PDF fired mortars into the construction site of the junta's planned new prison for political dissidents in Monowa Township. The PDF says there were casualties but no number is reported. Also, a PDF in Myong Township bombed a 12-vehicle convoy full of troops returning from destroying Nyankaya and Panyo villages on October 9. Six troops died in the explosions and 20 were injured, too seriously. The Chindwan River Junta Supply Flotilla continues to be a shooting gallery, as PDFs fire from the banks at the boats. Several days ago a 60mm mortar shell scored a direct hit, killing seven troops on board including an officer. Daily videos show PDF fusillades and mortars targeting the boats. In Magwe region, a skirmish occurred yesterday between the Yor Defense Force and Junta Police, in which the YDF deputy commander and a soldier were killed, and three police were seriously wounded, one of whom died later. A PDF attack on Junta troops in Wetpote village killed eight Junta Paiu saw Hiti operatives two days ago October 9. Urban Warfare in Yangon two urban PDFs blew up a police patrol vehicle in front of a courthouse yesterday in Sanchown Township, a second bomb meant to explode when troops arrived failed to detonate. Civil Disobedience Movement CDM. Last night was another evening of candle-lit religious political rallies against the junta across the country, following the Thadingyut full moon holiday on October 9.